the first of those two problems, the, the reactivity of chromosomal ends, had actually been a long-standing puzzle uh, for many decades. Um, and uh, this, this puzzle was defined through the work of uh, both Herman Miller and Barbara McClintock uh, in the 30s. Uh, Miller used x-rays uh, to create breaks uh, in DNA, and McClintock uh, used cytogenetic tricks uh, to break chromosomes, but they both came to the same conclusion, which is that those broken ends are, are very reactive and do a lot of things that normal <laughs> chromosome ends uh, never do. And so uh, this is a, a diagram and illustration of the famous breakage fusion bridge cycle uh, uh, explored by McClintock. And the basic observation is that if you have a chromosome uh, with a broken end, after DNA replication, you get uh, two ends which join together. You now have a chromosome which has two centromeres. When those centromeres are pulled into, uh, towards opposite poles during cell division, the uh, DNA or the chromosome in between is broken again, and now you get back uh, to where you started with. So you go through cycles of uh, fusion and breakage and a consequence of this is that you're spinning off cells which have lost important parts of chromosomes. Or, uh, so there are many uh, dead cells that are generated uh, in this process. And normal chromosome ends never do this kind of thing. So it was clear that there was something very special and different going on at the ends of normal chromosomes. Uh, but at the, at the time of this work, it wasn't even known that DNA was the genetic material. So they had no way to think molecularly about what was going on.